We would like to share the experiences that black culture have experienced as well as the many ways in which it has been commodified in shaping the culture we know today, especially in jazz and hip hop. Here at Race Dance Collective, we are invested in learning the ways of not just the what of the dance, but the how and the why. Hi guys, my name is AK Walker. I'm with Race Dance Collective, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the history of stepping and strolling. Stepping and strolling is used in black Greek letter organizations, um, as well as multicultural organizations, like the one that I'm in, which is Sigma Lambda Gamma National Sorority Incorporated, and I am from the Phi Beta chapter at the University of Central Oklahoma. Stepping and strolling was implemented in these organizations to pay homage to their African roots. In African cultures, it's common to dance in circles, which symbolizes unity and strength. These organizations were started not only to initiate activism, scholarship, social uplift, and service amongst black educated elites, but also to challenge white supremacy. Stepping is a little bit different than strolling. It's less of a dance and more of a system of beats and rhythms created by stomping, slapping, and clapping. Sometimes canes are even used, depending on the organization. Stepping dates back to African gumboot dancing, which was a form of protest amongst minors. They used hidden codes disguised as dancing or stomping. Next time you're out at a college event and you see these organizations strolling, please keep some things in mind. Though it's fun to watch, it's a strong part of their history and culture. So please do not try to mimic things or join in. Also remember that you're in their safe space, so please do not attempt to step in the way or break these lines of unity and strength because it can be seen as disrespectful. I hope you learned something new about stepping and strolling that you didn't know before. Knowledge is power, and with great power comes great responsibility. What will you do to share this new knowledge and seek further understanding for yourself and your dance community?